All right, let's look at question number five. I believe this is the last question. Prove that in any triangle, tan capital B minus C is equal over two is equal to lowercase b minus lowercase c over lowercase b plus lowercase c. Quote A capital A over two. So let's solve this. So from right angles of a triangle, I mean, I sorry, from the right handed hang right hand side we can actually see that this is the value that we have as usual i prefer working with the values where the small letters are so we're going to make use of the sign rule again so let's make the lowercase letters the subject then that's what we have then i want to substitute in those values into where we have this lowercase letters and that's what we have so factorize out two r as we have there then the two r values cancel then that's what we end up with now uh we're going to first leave this because it's in a form of court and that is a little bit complex to deal with so we're going to first leave it as it is so let's first deal with finding the factor formula on these sides okay so that's going to be our major step so let's first use factor formula so with factor formula we actually see that these two expand to become that now when we simplify uh this and this we can actually first see that these two's cancel and then we end up with that now a cos we can actually see that this and this are similar and a cos over a sine becomes a cot and then a sine over a cos becomes a tan value now we can already see that this is this appears in our final proof so that means we will have to find a way of eliminating this and that as the next step all right so we can actually see that this can be stated as uh, let's simplify this so that we actually have an a value that can easily cancel out with this so let's first find of putting an a there okay because something that has a b plus c and this cannot cancel out with each other so we know that a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degrees so so we know that b plus c which is the value we have here is equal to 180 degrees minus a so therefore we have that so it's actually simplified as that now we can actually see that the 2 divides on both sides and remain with 180 over 2 which is 90 minus a over 2. Now the next step that happens here is we would actually want to expand this as a double angle. But we cannot expand this except if it is in a tan format. So what would come to mind for someone to do is someone may be like okay let's change it into a tan and let's see. So let's first try this out. So this is how it would normally have been done. So you'd have converted this into a tan value. Of course, this will be uh, a 1 over tan 90 minus A over 2. So this becomes 1 over tan 90 minus A over 2, of which when you multiply a 1 over that times this, this will go to the top. And then we'll have this, the value we get here at, as the denominator into cot A plus, I mean cot A over now when we choose to expand this value in the denominator as a, as a double angle we can actually see that we end up having that expansion but now here is where the problem comes when i press in my calc the value of tan 90 i see that it gives me a math error so that means that this is impossible to do so in mathematics we cannot solve for tan of 90 so someone would find themselves stuck so uh, the solution to this is we should find an alternative way to do it. So we're going to discard this method and then we're going to use another method. So the method we're going to be use is we're going to be making use of core function identities formula. So core function identities will help us to work this out. Okay. Now what we will have what will happen is we're going to look for the core function identity that represents a cot. So we're going to find a cot uh, because we want this uh, to easily cancel uh, with, with the value that we actually have here. Now we know that this side here can be represented as 1 over tan a over 2. So this side here can be represented in form of tan. So what happens is uh, let's convert this. Uh, let's get a core function identity that uh, relates a cot to a tan. Alright, so I have my list of core function identities. So let's just take a look at them. A cot under tan. So remember that uh, when we look at the cot side, we know that a cot is equal to that, as you can actually see there. A cot is equal 
quote theta is equal to that. But we can also see that what we are aiming for is we want to simplify one side to the other. So we're actually looking at converting a quote. Now the example that we actually have has a quote with values inside brackets. Actually it's more similar to this. So this is what we actually have. Then we want this. Uh, sorry about that. So we actually want this. We want this to be simplified into that. So we can actually see a quote of, of, uh, a quote of 90 minus theta. If we simplify that, it can actually be stated as tan of theta. So in our example, because we have a quote of 90 minus a over 2, so our theta is a over 2, it means that this a over 2 can be placed here. So that means that the quote 90 minus a over 2 is equal to tan a over 2. Right. So in our core function identities, we can actually now see that this is equal to that. Right, so therefore, when we replace this, uh, when we replace this value with a tan a over two, we can actually have that. But this is equal to one over tan a over two, and these and this can cancel. So when you cancel those out, we remain with tan b minus c over two. So this is where co-function identities formula can become uh, quite useful in cases where we have such situations where we will easily not know how to take the next step. So it helps simplify the journey for us.